Hi, welcome back to Nick's Italian Cooking. In our last segment, we prepared our sauce, we prepared our pasta. Now all you have to do is put the two together, pasta and the sauce, it's that simple. You see, the crucial thing about Italian cooking is simplicity. Cut, cut! What do you mean, simplicity? That's not what this show's about. This is Italian cooking, it's supposed to be exciting. Can't you do more than that? This is pasta and sauce, it's simple. Italian cooking, it's like I said. But this is red, that's white. That's it white. needs visuals. It needs not just for tasting and not just the aroma for the nose, it needs something for the eyes. It needs to put oh, stuff okay, in there, make no. it look exciting. Okay, let's, this looks let's, good. Oh no, let's not do that. Do you that. have other food that you can put in there? What other food do you have? <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Nick's Italian, <clears throat> uh, Nick's and Inspector Pulse's Italian cooking. Uh, in our last segment, as I said, we made the sauce and the pasta, and I, 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 I don't think that was um, complicated enough, I suppose. No, so, uh, it needs <clears throat> more stuff, so I think we should add these. Oh, okay, some meatballs, of white these meatballs. These are marshmallows. Okay, uh, that's, oh, that, that oh. I think they're perfect, I mean, look at that, it's, Beautiful. This you hurts. see the way they hit the surface yeah. and the white okay. on the red. I guess it's salvageable somehow. If but we you know, sort of stir just it. from the visual point of view, a few marshmallows on the surface of the sauce—it's not enough. I think oh. we need something else, don't you think so? I mean, maybe some onions and garlic. No, no, we have that in there. I oh. mean, something completely different. Like, what about peanut butter? Oh no, no, please, no, come no, on. Please. No, no, no. Oh no, 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 no. I think it looks good. It's not even recognizable as a pasta sauce. You know, cooking, it's like music, okay? You can't just add anything you want. If you have too much ornamentation, you can't even recognize the melody anymore. Ornamentation? What's that? Okay, uh, welcome back to Inspector Pulse's Italian cooking show. Uh, with Nick the cellist. Anyway, in our last segment we were talking about ornamentation right. and how in cooking, if you heavily ornament a dish, you can't even recognize it anymore. Hmm. Well, it's like that in music. Let's take a note, for example. Okay. That's a note. A note. If I were to ornament that note, I could add a trill. Oh, I see. You take the note and you add the note above and you trill. That's an ornament. That's right. Now I can I take two notes, like an octave. Uh-huh. And I can ornament that octave with a scale. I get it. I understand ornamentation. It's like decorating. But you know, we had this sauce that was just so full of marshmallows and peanut butter and stuff it that was. you said it was unrecognizable. Yes, it was. Is there a piece of music, for example, that has so much ornamentation that you can't tell what tune it is anymore? There is, and I'm actually very glad you asked that because I've been working on this piece. Uh, that is so heavily ornamented, I can't even recognize the melody anymore. Really? Yeah. Can you play that for me? Yeah, I'll play a little bit. Okay. is a very heavily ornamented piece. In fact, if there's a tune in there that we're supposed to recognize, there are so many ornaments, I, I don't recognize it. But as an inspector, as a private ear, I'm gonna find out what tune is there by removing the ornaments, but I have to investigate ornaments first. Do you wanna come with me on an investigation of ornaments? I'd very much like to, yes. That would be fantastic. Why don't you join us? Join Nick and Inspector Pulse for a trilling event, November 17th at Alice Tully Hall for an investigation of ornaments. <laughs> 